the complex modular architecture of butterfly wings, exploring the Evo Devo toolkit with CRISPR and comparisons of genomic DNA. Linking specific genetic determinants to molecular and cellular interactions that generate phenotypic gestalts. Although it is quite challenging to attempt to map the relationships between particular generative elements and ecological phenotypes, the powerful new technique of CRISPR has been quite revealing. CRISPR makes it relatively easy for investigators to edit specific genes and observe the phenotypic consequences. For comparing species-specific visible patterns, butterflies are a model system of choice. For the first time, it is possible to quickly map the actions of particular genes onto the ecological phenotypes of multiple species. This is revealed in the beautiful and highly variable patterns of butterfly wings. Briefly, the CRISPR technique makes it possible to cut the genome at a desired location using a known DNA-RNA sequence, which allows existing genes to be removed or edited, or for new genes to be added. This is a dream come true for Evo Devo researchers because it makes it possible to quickly and systematically explore the ways that particular genes are deployed and how they map onto the ecological phenotype in a variety of species. The results of these experiments clearly demonstrate an important new concept in evolutionary developmental biology, Evo Devo, namely, that changes in the same conserved generative gene will have a variety of effects in separate species because those genes interact in different ways with several other genes. The ecological phenotypes in each species arise from complex interactions of multiple genes during the process of development. The meaning or significance of a particular gene depends on the genetic background of numerous factors throughout the genome. In each species, particular genes will play divergent roles. Science writer Vivian Callier quotes researcher Bob Reed who says that single genes can act as extremely discrete switches to completely change morphology. Callier notes that the genes WINT-A and OPTICS are the most important players. For example, CRISPR studies have revealed that loss of WINT-A function causes a variety of morphological changes in seven species that are members of the Nymphalidae butterfly family. In three species with a conserved wing pattern, WINT-A is required to induce stripe-like patterns and also activates novel eye spot patterns in one of them. In two other species, WINT-A specifies the boundaries between melanic, dark pigmented fields and light-colored patterns that they outline. In another species, WINT-A removal has opposite effects of adjacent pattern elements. In yet another species that lacks stripe-like patterns, WINT-A defines distinctive intervenous patterns. Evolution has co-opted conserved genes such as WINT-A and optics in a variety of ways. In general, WINT-A defines spatial patterns that generate divergent patterns in various species, whereas optics is a transcription factor that acts late in development to activate a variety of wing color patterns in the scales of butterfly wings, including both pigmented and textured patterns, such as blue iridescence.